Hi Rosilla, I just wanted to make absolutely certain, so I thought I'd just run through this quickly. I thought it might help. It doesn't help you, it might help somebody else. So I've got my three spreadsheets which I put inside a single file just as a little test. So you can see that they are spreadsheets embedded into the um, into the Word file. And then what I did was if I go to Studio, I go to my file options because I'm just going to use the default settings. I'm not going to use anything else. First of all, note that when everything is closed up, I have a file type section and I have an embedded content process section. Under the file types, I need to come down to the active file type or the one I'm going to use, which in this case is this one here, Microsoft Word 2007-2016. Click on my comment and I need to check extract contents of embedded Excel and charts. And you can see that this one here is the Microsoft Word 2007 to 2016. I click over here. You can see that this is the one that's going to get used because I haven't activated the older 2007 to 2013. So double check that as well. Then what I did under the embedded content processes, I go down to the Excel and under the embedded content, I've enabled it. I've got some default, default rules in there anyway, so I'm just going to run with those. They'll pick up the little sample tags I've got. I click OK and then I just Control Shift O, which is a shortcut for translate single document. So I'm using my default options, no project templates or anything. Pick the Word file up and open it. Um, and then if I just click OK, and that should come through and open up the file for me with the contents of all of those Excel spreadsheets as well, treated as embedded Excel files. So it uses the Excel file type in order to do that. Gosh, it's taken a long time, there we go. So there's my file with my three Excel files inside it. So I've got them all there. So that all works quite nicely. It's using the word processing ML version two. You really need to double check you're using the right file types when you get all of those. If you can't see the file types in the orange tab, you go to the view menu. As you click on the different options up here, so the the first one is just the no tag text. The next one is small tags, bigger tags. You can see the content of them. And the top one up there, tag ID, if you click that one, it will tell you which file type is being used. So you can make sure you're using the right file types when you're opening that Word file up. If that just isn't working for you at all and you just cannot make this work, I double check that really is an embedded Excel file. And if it really is, I suppose another option is create a folder, I'll call it the impact folder, just create a folder inside um, inside your, your Windows somewhere and then just unzip the file. So unzip that one and inside the Word file you should find an embedding folder and in there you've got the three worksheets. So you could always do it that way and just, um, if it's not extracting the content for you, just add the three Excel files separately to your project and treat them as Excel files handle it that way and then put them back when you finish translating. So, but that's a long workaround. You shouldn't have to do that for this because that should, it should work perfectly fine to have that um, embedded content in the Word file. So maybe this will help. Maybe it'll trigger something that I didn't explain very well before and, and show you how to do it.